everyone. This is part three of my series on business and profession. In this part, we're going to be dealing with incomes. Before you go ahead, I would suggest that you watch part one and part two of my video series. In this video, we're going to be discussing two parts. The first part relates to incomes and the second part relates to deemed incomes. Under business and profession, incomes are under two sections, section 28 and section 41. You can claim expenses from section 30 to 37, subject to disallowances under section 40 to 43b. But remember, it may require maintenance of books of accounts. The various deemed income sections that we'll be covering are 4480, 4480A and 44AE. Remember that no expenses can be taken. You will not be required to maintain books of accounts or get them audited. The return of income due date is 31st July. The advance tax must be paid in one installment within 15th March. But keep in mind that this applies only to 44AD and 44ADA. What about 44AE? The advance tax has to be paid in four installments like any other SSE. So let's look at the income sections first. On the left part of your screen, section 28. Under section 28, there are numerous items which get taxed. I will be discussing only the most important ones which come in total income problems. The first one is any profit or gain from business or profession. Second one is any benefit arising through the business or profession. Third one is salary interest to partner of a firm. Remember that only the amount allowed in the hands of the firm will be considered under this clause. To see what is allowed in the hands of the firm do check out my disallowances video and look at section 40 clause B. The fourth one is non-compete fee. The fifth one is scheme and insurance proceeds. The sixth one is sale proceeds of a 35 AD asset. If you notice some items have been marked in a green star. Remember those. Section 41 also taxes a few items. The first one to be taxed under section 41 is reimbursement or refund of expenses or taxes. The second one is write-off of any creditor amounts due. The third one is recovery of bad debts. The expense should have been allowed earlier for it to be taxed in this year. The fourth one is balancing charge this is, however, applicable only to power sector straight line method SSEs. There are three deemed income sections that we'll be covering in this video. The first one is section 4480. So who is eligible under section 4480? Any individual, HUF or a firm. However, an LLP is not eligible. What's the limit under section 4480? The limit is receipts or sales should not exceed 200 lakhs. What is the rate of income under section 4480? The rate is 6% or 8% of sales or turnover. 6% is applicable if the collection is made through an account pay check, account pay draft or an online bank transfer on or before the return of income due date. In all other cases, the deemed income rate will be 8%. The second section is section 44ADA. Any rule 6F professional is eligible. What is the limit? The limit is 50 lakh. What is the rate of deemed income? It is 50%. The last deemed income section is 44AE. Who's eligible? Any SSE engaged in plying, hiring, leasing of goods carriages. The limit is less than equal to 10 goods carriages at any point in time during the year. The rate of income is 7500 per vehicle. Remember that there has been a change after PY 1819. So this rate applies only 
till PY 1819. You can download these charts which I've used. The link is given in the description to this video. I hope my videos help you. If it does, please let me know.